Hey guys, how's it going? So I got something pretty cool here that I ordered online sometime less than a month ago, which arrived today, and boom, boom, right there. So I thought, huh, you know what? I should probably open this on camera and uh, do an unboxing video. So I'll start by removing this little seal thingy on the back, and I want to do that somewhat gracefully. So I'm gonna use this. Uh, do anyway. Uh, we don't really get awesome stuff like this in Australia, and this was no exception. I had to import this from the UK, so, uh, anyway, you guys are doing a good job over there. I'm planning on keeping the box, so just let me peel this sticker off. Alright, and I suppose it's that in the bin. So, okay, and if it wasn't obvious by the title, this is a device that holds a controller. Ah, oh, I think I'm about to sneeze. Oh, sneezing purgatory. Am I sneeze gonna sneeze? Am I not? That was a no this time, okay, so. Ah, oh, shit, there's one on the side too, isn't there? Of course there is. Alright. Alright, just for the sake of speeding things up, I'll just remove that sticker from there later. Alright. Do. So. This is pretty neat. I gotta say, I'm a huge Banjo Kazooie fan. Have been ever since 1998 when I was probably nine years old and it came out. So let's see what you get with this. Well, first off, that's the uh, what's it? Two meter long USB. I forgot what the fuck the thing is, but basically it's the one that fits the PS4 and the first gen uh, Xbox One controller. If you have the Series Two Elite controller, it uses the USB C for Charlie uh, extension cable. So anyway, so this one won't fit. It is my point. So, if you do have a controller that will fit that, well then, excellent. If not, well, surely not that uh, hard to find. So, there we go. I'm actually going to leave that just here for now, and if you plan on keeping the box like me, I'm just going to showcase you everything that's in there. i got to say, looking at the inside of this is pretty neat. It's just jigsaw puzzle pieces, but, yeah, this company tends to pay pretty good attention to the game in question, because it's not just Banjo Kazooie they make, they make a lot of other uh, of these holders from different game companies and stuff, and uh, everything except first party Nintendo, of course, because you know what Nintendo are like when it comes to, you know, outsourcing licenses and stuff like that, so if you wanted Mario, Yoshi, Luigi, or Star Fox, which th I would have liked a Star Fox one, uh, from what I know, at least right now as I'm filming this, it doesn't uh, exist, so... Okay, I'm gonna try and angle this just right so that uh, it's not blurring or reflecting off the screen. You know, when I first looked at the front cover of this as well, I was like, oh cool, it's Diddy Kong, and before I could even finish the thought, I'm like, oh wait, no, it's not Diddy Kong, of course, it's the fucking monkey from uh, Mama's Mountain. Mm -hmm. For anyone that may care about all this crap, I, that is upside down. I see that now. Sorry. I'm doing this on my iPad and everything's reversed, so, you know, I'm always going to be seeing things the wrong way around anyway. Alright, well, now that we've gotten the showcasing of the box out of the way, let's actually have a look at this thing. That's actually got a pretty decent amount of weight to it, I will say that much. So, they did measure how tall this thing was. I'm actually going to do a proper one to see if it matches up. This is... If we're going from the very bottom here all the way up to this little piece of feather on Kazooie's head, then that is, I'm going to say exactly, about nine and a half inches. All right, not bad. Well, keep in mind this is the first time I've seen it too, so I'm trying to like really inspect it. And, you know, while showcasing it, probably wasn't the best idea, but, all right. This is a very... Pretty good solid strong plastic as well, I like it, and also the ones here, they're relatively bendable. But uh, this feels on her wings, the exact same material, obviously it's just thicker, but it's the same material that I showed in my other unboxing video of the Banjo-Kazooie statue from Dotaku. Uh, so if you have one of those, then, you know, you're pretty much already going to know what this material feels like. Now, let's see bottom part. Let's make sure that this is facing the right way. There we go. Oh yes, the company is called the Cable Guys, or just Cable Guys. Now, I just want to test this with the controller and see how well it fits, so I'm just going to use my Xbox controller, and this is one of the Elites, and I'm not 
using the paddles in the back, so we'll see how well that fits. Sorry, I need to face this while doing it because I can't quite do it quite well with one hand. Eh, Alright, fit. I guess they needed to design these hands in such a way that would be able to fit all kinds of uh, controllers out there for all multiple platforms and stuff. And yeah, it looks pretty neat. And I like the way they designed his head where it actually looks like he's moving it out of the way because he's lugging around something really heavy. Okay, let's see what angle I can dip this before it starts to drop. Cool. Awesome. So it seems as though that that's going to hold on to stuff pretty well. So just make sure to have it on a stable table so if one's rocking around and everything like that, it's going to be able to dip to about this angle before he drops it, at least with the Xbox One controller. So anyway, I'm not going to say this is an exact perfect fit, but hey, good enough is good enough. But what I really wanted to do was uh, hold my Xbox 360 controller in this. I know that on the packaging and everything it's showing an Xbox One controller, but uh, I've got a different place which I keep my Xbox One controller, and so I'm only going to use an Xbox 360 controller or an Xbox One controller on this thing. I could use a PS4 controller, but, you know, the fact that uh, uh, the Banjo-Kazooie games, uh, at least the uh, digital versions, are only available on the Xbox 360 or technically Xbox One if you're playing it through backwards compatibility. So, you know, my OCD kind of only wants me to use these controllers. If I use a PS4 controller, I'll be like, wait, that's illegal. Hmm, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, I can dip it pretty much at the same angle before this starts to happen. I think this might have been an issue, too, on transporting in the box. If you look at uh, his huge sniffer right there, you can see a little bit of the, um, the black ink or paint or whatever it is that's fading off, but you know, I'm sure I can easily fix that with a permanent marker at the end of the world, but... Hey, then today, I've still got a pretty neat little <laughs> gimmicky thing that holds a controller. They also say that this can hold your phone, so I'm just going to use my phone here. This is uh, the iPhone 5S. Eh, that's alright. I don't think I'll ever need this thing to hold a phone. I'm just doing that to show you that it is an option if you want to do that. Uh, cool, I really don't think I have anything else to showcase on this, but if you're really wondering how much this thing weighs, I'm not really good at guessing how much things weigh when it comes to, like, just feeling it by hand like I'm doing now, but I'm guessing maybe, I'd say probably a kilo. It's probably also maybe written on the box, I don't know, I didn't check, but you can play the video back and pause it at the right moments and then see for yourself, but if it's not on there, then yeah, I'd say about a kilo, so... Alright, I'm going to go get this thing set up in my room, and uh, yeah, you want one of these, just be sure to go look online. Just type in Cable Guys, Banjo Kazooie Holder. They do other stuff as well. I think Crash Bandicoot might have been one. But like I said, there was a bunch of them, but I didn't really pay that much attention. All I wanted was this one, so... Uh, anyway, but all of them are pretty much going to do the same thing. They'll be the, roughly about the same way, they'll be the same size, and they all hold a controller, so... Alright. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll catch you guys at some other point. So anyway, go play some games. Have fun, guys. Bye. Go on. Get out of here. Get. Go. Shoot. Get beats.